Indigo Dream presents a crystal mystery box. Every box is unique and contains high quality, high vibrational crystals handpicked by me specifically for you. You will also find a Palo Santo stick, an envelope with meanings of all of your crystals and information on how to cleanse and use them. The link to my Etsy shop is in the description box. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I am Veronica and I'm back with another pick a car reading for you. Yay! So this one is going to be about a message that you are supposed to hear, something that you are supposed to know about. It's going to be a message basically from the universe, from your spirit guide, something that you should know about your situation. So if you feel drawn to one group or you feel drawn to a couple of groups, I would recommend you to listen to both of them because your message might be kind of like a mix of both of the groups or of a couple of the groups. So let's just go to your card selection and then I'll see you in your reading. Okay guys, so this is your card selection. Before we are going to select the pile, I'm going to light a Palo Santo. Palo Santo and I will cleanse the energy for you. So if you've been feeling stressed, this hopefully will ground you and let you pick the right pile for yourself. Okay, so here we go. Here we have group number one with a green calcite. Group number two with tiger's eye. Group number three with a red calcite. And group number four with a small aventurine, green aventurine. So take a couple of deep breaths in and out that will allow you to calm your mind and connect with your intuition more. Choose a stone or the group that you feel the most drawn to. And once you are ready, the timestamps will be in the description box and also in the comment section. So feel free to pause the video right now. Just take as much time as you need. And I'm going to start with the group number one. Hi, group number one. If you guys chose green calcite, this is going to be your reading. Let's see what we have for you. All right, group number one. So let's start with tarot cards. We have a lot of oracle cards to go through. So I don't know if this video is going to be lengthy, but get some cup of coffee, cup of tea. And let's just hang out and see what is the message here for you. So what I'm seeing mostly, guys, is that the universe wants you to keep on going and to keep on focusing on your long-term goals, on the vision that you have for yourself, for your future, on building that maybe financial success or some sort of like stability that you are craving for. The Queen of Wands is telling me that you guys are the type of people that are willing to take some sort of tasks that not many people want to take. So you are up for the challenge. You are not afraid. You are definitely confident in yourself and in your skill. I do see that there is something that you guys are naturally good at or a skill that you've been honing lately. Um, I feel like the message in general here for you is that you have to keep on going, that I feel like you are going um, in the right direction. The thing is nine of cups in reverse. So this is a card of wishes coming true. When it's in reverse, it makes me feel like um, there might be something that might not um, make you fully satisfied. Maybe you have set your mind onto something and it just feels like you might not get exactly what you want. However, I feel like the universe is saying here that you shouldn't give up just because this one thing uh, is not going to work out exactly the way you wish it would. Because the Knight of Swords says that there is an opportunity that is coming your way. So there's something that will suddenly appear in your life and this opportunity is not going to be there available for you forever so i feel like the universe is saying here that you shouldn't be so discouraged when something is just not going to work out the way 
you wanted it to go because you might miss out on that opportunity and this opportunity would be really good for you. That's what I'm sensing. So I think we should just check the rest of the Oracle cards and see what is the energy coming through from the Oracle cards. First of all, we got the card uh, Full Moon in Leo. So you guys might be Leos. I'm sensing you guys might be fire signs or air signs as well. Um, but yeah, that is just, you know, a message for some of you. Don't let pride get in your way. So you, the, your spirit guides the universe doesn't want you to be too prideful. I feel like this also could be talking about the fact that you guys are very independent and you like to do everything on your own with this queen of wands over here. You have a lot of energy, you trust in yourself and your skill and you're very hardworking because you have this vision for your future. The thing is, I feel like it's talking about actually working with others, working with other people because they can bring uh, even a bigger level of success into your life if you decide to work with others as well. So if someone is going to give you a helping hand, just don't turn them away because I feel like Mm, that could be a good opportunity for you for some reason. Maybe this person is going to introduce you later on to someone that is going to help you along your way. Something about that. So don't feel like you have to do everything on your own, group number one. We have a card of fine balance. So it makes sense with an eight of pentacles. I do see you guys being very driven you having a lot of energy, but also I feel like you guys might be pushing your limits a little bit with the card of a fine balance, fine balance between your work, rest and playtime, and you will have more energy, harmony and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. So yeah, the universe wants you to know that it's important for you to take some breaks. Don't feel like you have to get everything done now. And trust me, I know how it feels because I feel like this this group can be actually a little bit for me as well. Or I resonate with this group a little bit as well. Um, where I know that once, you know, we have a dream, we have a goal... It's hard to actually take some break from it. It's hard to step away and give ourselves some time to rest. But it's all about that balance. Because once you're going to rest, you actually will have more energy to keep on going. And even more creative ideas might pop into your head. So um, remember about that. Okay, the next card that we have for you is Magical Blessings. Love that. Whatever you're going through, you're being uh, assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. So once again, this gives me a feeling of three of pentacles of teamwork. Mm, okay, so it makes me feel like you guys can work with someone and bring these blessings into both yours and this person's life. Like it's beneficial for both of you but also blessings just so you know that there is a blessing coming your way group number one love that for you um we also have a card of go outside it's time to go outside tune into the powerful peace of nature wherever you are and feel at one with your habitat so if you guys haven't been spending a lot of time outside i feel like it could be really beneficial for you to really take some time off maybe go out and spend some time in nature go to the beach go to the forest wherever you can actually go uh, spend some time outside because it's going to regenerate you and give you extra energy i don't know if you guys ever tried and that's <laughs> that might sound crazy but you can try to hug trees literally because they give you energy you can um you know they will give you like this energy boost basically you're connecting with the mother earth and grounding yourself and just being more 
present in the moment, being more mindful. So just extra messages that are coming tr true, <laughs> they're coming through. Wow, you guys got the card of nature. So just like I was saying, go outside. The universe wants you or your spirit guides might be coming through right now saying that you really have to go outside a little bit more. And I'm not even talking about parties here, going out, like partying with friends or seeing friends or seeing people. It's more like just you spending some time with yourself, with the nature and grounding yourself and taking things slow. And, you know, when you're going to take that walk wherever in the forest or on the beach, don't be on your phone. Like you should just be present in the moment instead of be instead of be checking. Um be checking instead of checking the instagram or facebook or youtube like really slow down group number one slow down because i feel like this opportunity might come and you have to have enough energy for it um and you have to be able to see it we have a card of abundance love that so abundance is pouring into your life abundance of money emotions love happiness um yes it's this opportunity that is coming through i feel like it's something that is probably connected with your career or like your long-term goals your long-term vision stability um abundance so if you've been wondering where it is it's coming especially since i got this card for you as well guys uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty so maybe yeah i feel like it's just talking about this opportunity that you guys might miss on because the nine of cups is in reverse because there's something that won't work out for you or didn't, maybe it already didn't, maybe it already happened, where you are feeling disappointed, it was something that you really wanted to get, and I feel like it's just saying with this card here that you really have to move on from that because there's something bigger coming, maybe it's different, maybe it's not what you were expecting or hoping for, but beneath the surface lies a great bounty, so there is a treasure and you have to uncover it by taking that opportunity that is coming your way. As like I said, guys, you have to take it quickly. It's gonna come to you very suddenly out of nowhere, but you have to make a decision on it fast. We also have a navigating by the stars, follow your bliss. So this is just um, advice for you, I think, group number one. It's just telling you to do the things that bring you joy and nothing else. Following your bliss, following the feeling, this positive feeling, this peaceful feeling this exciting feeling and not doing anything different just following that feeling doing the things that brings you joy and that's all that i have for you group number one i hope you enjoyed this reading if you want to claim this message and let me know that you got until the end of it just write in the comment section abundance is flowing into my life Leave a like, guys, subscribe if you haven't yet. Check out one of my previous videos or my Etsy store. Or you can also book a reading with me if you would like to. Uh, if you want me to focus on your specific energy. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope this helps. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hi, group number two. If you guys chose the tiger's eye, let's see what we have for you. All right, group number two. So we're starting with tarot and we will pull the oracle cards for you as well. But the main energy that I'm sensing here is that lately you guys got disappointed in someone and something. Um, I do see that you had to walk away and you... I feel like you haven't fully moved on from the situation, but the universe is sending you a message that you should be more independent, that it's okay to stay on your own at the moment. I feel like you guys are supposed to go through some sort of transition or change in your life that will give you more freedom that will make you feel more independent with the nine of pentacles over here i feel like you guys are having trouble leaving the past in the past or some sort of like 
situation or a person. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse and the Eight of Swords in reverse. So the Eight of Cups in reverse tells me that you guys are having a hard time um, kind of like separating from someone. There is still this emotional connection there. And even though someone disappointed you, you are still not fully walking away from it. Eight of Swords in reverse is telling me that you are constantly kind of maybe talking down on yourself. Please guys don't do that. What I mean with that is you might be affirming some things that you actually don't want to be happening in your life. Let's say something really messed up happened and you keep on kind of like identifying with that old story, something that already happened. It's not like it happened today. It might have happened like literally yesterday, a week ago, a month ago, and you keep on going back to it. The Six of Cups is a card of a past so it tells me that you guys keep on going back to something that brought you disappointment something that you had to like sacrifice a lot for maybe you have to because of this situation you will have to try to like rebuild your trust later on um, I'm basically sensing that something like happened that really disappointed you to the point that you stop really, you're not seeing clearly or you're not seeing, you You might be only focusing on like the negative. All right, guys. So what I'm saying, uh, what I'm seeing here is basically that you should leave that in the past. You have to stop identifying with this old story, something that doesn't serve you, something that you don't want to repeat anymore. The universe wants you to fully leave it behind and become more independent. Don't be dependable on other people's behaviors, feelings, um, what they're saying, you know, their actions, etc. Like if you if they have a good day, they're going to be nice to you. If, you ha if they have a bad day, they're going to be mean <laughs> rude towards you or whatever it is it just feels like this thing this person is not dependable so why would you keep on wasting your time on them this might be a little bit harsh group number two but that's what i'm seeing so far the sign of the seven the seven of pentacles over here is telling me to tell you to have patience so let's see what else we have from the oracle cards. All right, the first one that we have is new beginnings. It's time for a new beginning. So if you feel like you, this is something that you've been dealing with, but you're, no, you're not doing this anymore, you're ready to start fresh, to start new, the new beginning is coming or will come eventually. So the universe wants you to kind of like prepare for it and know that there is a new beginning coming. It's not like you have to kind of be stuck in the past, you know, keep on. You don't have to repeat the same cycles over and over again, okay? All right, guys, we have one more card that is talking about new beginnings. A new start is coming, a new new cycle is coming group number two you have to be ready for it and in order to fully move forward in that situation into this new beginning you have to leave something behind or it it, it, it could be a person it could be a, uh, a career related situation some life situation maybe it's just you talking down on yourself maybe it's a negative maybe it's just a negative mindset whatever it is you guys have to leave it behind in order to move forward so let me see what else we have yeah we have a card i love that keep going forward ascending the mountain so you are going the right way if you decide to you know leave the past in the past and move forward it tells you that you have to keep on going forward guys we also have a card of hold your vision so yes you can whatever it is yes you can do it you have to just stick to that positive mindset about it you have to believe that it's going to happen that it's um possible for it to happen to you whatever it, it is for you uh becoming maybe more independent you know this new beginning 
um, believe in magic, there will be more hmm, blessings coming into your life once you're going to believe that it's actually possible, once you're going to stop um, talking down on yourself and affirming that maybe you guys are affirming some negative things basically maybe you're saying that you will never I don't know be free or that you will never find a romantic partner that is going to love you unconditionally whatever it is guys you have to watch what you're saying you have to watch the words that are coming out of your mouth okay um, even when you're talking with someone. So I'm getting a message right now that if there's someone that you actually guys are connected with at the moment that likes to gossip, that likes to just talk about other people behind their backs or that is constantly talking down on themselves as well and um, is encouraging you to do the same, it's like a pity party. I feel like it's also something that you guys have to consider leaving behind. So let's see what else we have. We have a card of hope. Hmm, love that. Hope is always there, even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. Exactly. I feel like you guys are kind of like in the middle of it, you know? You're in the middle of... Um, changing the life for yourself um, and I feel like that's why this message is coming through right now to you group number two because the universe is encouraging you to keep on going to not go back into the same old things um, even though it might be more comfortable at the moment it might make you just more comfortable for a while um, after a while, it doesn't bring you satisfaction anymore or it keeps disappointing you or you're just not feeling it. So don't go back to it right now just because it's a easy way out, you know? Just keep on going, have hope and everything's going to align as long as you're going to have pure intentions. The Fairy of Manifestation will help you to use your wishes wisely. Wisely? I can never pronounce this word. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all. Have pure intentions whenever you guys are manifesting. Once again, just watch what you're saying because everything that you're saying, everything that you're thinking and you're allowing this into your conscious mind, this is what you guys are manifesting. So even though you might not be saying anything negative, you might be constantly anxious, constantly worried. And I know it's something that it's hard, that is hard to fight against because um, I'm going through some tough days as well during a week during the month um but it's just important to know that this will pass you know so even if when you are feeling negative um i don't want you to be mad at yourself i just want you to next day give it another try and be more positive but the mo um, the biggest message that is coming through um through this reading basically is just to have hope and to know that you can go through this transformation that you can become more independent that there's a new st uh, start that is coming that you have to keep on going forward guys i have two more messages for you we have a card of spirituality so i feel like the universe just really wants you to uh, be more spiritual, just practice spirituality um, again or more if you've been, if you've kind of like fell out of your routine with meditation or practicing tarot or what it, whatever it is for you guys, the universe wants you to go back to it. Um, and we have a card of music, listen carefully for there may be a message in the music you hear. Hmm. Music can lift your soul, rekindle memories and charm fairies to your door. So yeah, I feel like there might be some messages that throughout the next couple of days, you guys might be hearing from music. It might be like a, a word, a sentence that will stand out to you that is going to 
uh, really stand out to you and really make you reflect. And also I feel like it's a reminder to stop listening to the lower vibrational music and start listening to the music that is actually uplifting your spirits. Because, you know, whenever we're going through some difficult time, it's nice to listen to sad songs, but honestly, they just make you even more sad. So what I would recommend you guys doing is just to really, you know, cry it out if you need to. Listen to that sad song if you need to. And as I said, cry it out. But after that, play something more positive. Play something that is going to make you excited um, about the day ahead and uplift your energy. So if you guys got until the end of this reading, if you want to claim this beautiful energy and message, just write in the comment section, a new start is coming. Thank you so much for watching and leave a like, subscribe if you haven't yet. You can also check out my Etsy store or book a reading with me. The links are in the description box and I hope to see you guys in my next reading. I hope this helped. Take care, bye bye. Hi, group number three. If you guys chose this red calcite, this is going to be your reading. Let's see what we have for you. Okay, group number three. So what I'm sensing, I'm getting a couple of messages here for you, or messages for you, group number three. So uh, let's start with this card. We have four of cups. Um, look at the imagery on this card. So um thinking that you guys are over here and there's someone over here that is in your life or it could be vice versa as well just take that into consideration but i feel like this is talking about the fact that there is someone in your life that is not appreciating you enough someone that is not appreciating the efforts the time that you put into something uh, the work that you put into something, a relationship or career or whatever it is, guys. It feels like you are helping someone with the five of pentacles over here. Once again, it could be vice versa. It could be someone helping you and you not seeing that. Uh, but I'm mostly sensing it's, as I was saying, it's you helping someone and they are just not appreciating that enough uh, they're not seeing the fact that you are doing so much for them. So yeah, because we have the two of cups over here in, in reversed, and that could be causing a lot of um, disputes. I think that's how you say it. Uh, arguments, rows, etc. Miscommunication. Um, I feel like this person is really dependent on you for some reason. I don't know if it's like financially dependent or just kind of like they just need someone to help them with what's going on around them, what's, what's going on in their head. Um, you know, the, the thoughts that they might be some difficult time that I'm, they might be going through. The thing is, you are there to help them and they are not really appreciating it. Um, Eight of Wands is telling me that the energy might be really chaotic um, around you and the Two of Pentacles is telling you to prioritize, uh, reprioritize um, your priorities. <laughs> um, and I'm basically feeling like you should prioritize yourself. Just do the things that you, you want to do or the things that you have to do instead of kind of like doing the things for this person or leaving everything behind in order to help them or you know changing your plans just because just so you can help them somehow just to be around them just to um, be the shoulder that they can they that they can cry on i'm feeling like you guys just have to focus on you and reprioritize some areas of your life because it feels like you've been putting way too much energy into someone or something it also could be a thing it also could be a project that is just not really giving you anything but it constantly keeps on taking from you and i feel like you guys are already probably feeling tired because of that very drained but you might feel even more and the universe is here to tell you to give you the message that you have to 
just fix something here in this relationship or in this situation basically so let me see what we have so i got the card for you the energy is gaining momentum yeah i'm feeling like it's literally talking what i was talking about right now that it might get even worse like this person might keep on taking and taking and taking more from you draining even more energy from you if you're not going to decide that sometimes it's okay to say no i do have a card for you though rebirth and also domestic harmony so once again i do think that this is talking about the cards that i was reading they're talking about some relation that you have with someone that is just not going. It's not fair, basically. It's not equal. You are giving way too much and this person is not. So I do think that you standing up for yourself and prioritizing different things in your life will make them realize how much you are actually help, helping them but also domestic harmony is telling you that it's time to bring peace into this situation it's time to do something about it uh it's time to stop kind of like overlooking it um and yeah just bring peace and um calmness and into this uh, relationship it could be also friendship it could be someone that you live with at the moment someone you, that you keep on helping more and more all the time because you are a good person but it's time that it's time for you to prioritize yourself and your needs i also have a card for your rebirth so there is a rebirth happening um or will be happening very soon for you guys because i also got the card for you completion so you're completing a cycle and it doesn't matter anymore if this is related to the energy that i was reading i feel like that also could be like a completely different energy um that is coming through just to tell you the, that you are about to finish some sort of cycle some sort of chapter in your life and you're going through a rebirth and something new is going to come and new energy is about to come i also have a card for you your light is shining brightly reaching your destination so i don't think this is related to what i was saying i mean for some of you it could be however yeah this is just a separate message to show you that you are very very close to achieving something that you've wanted to achieve um i also have a card the answers are within with the lantern taking shelter so the lantern is just telling me that you guys are going to really i feel like you're starting to see clearly yeah that you're seeing the you're starting to see the situation for what it actually is not for what you wanted it to be like to look like but but for what it actually is taking shelters the answers are within so it's just also telling you that all of the answers that you guys are looking for you already know and you intuitively know maybe you've been just waiting for a sign to tell you that this is your sign this is a yes or this is a no whatever you know the feel whatever feeling you have about it this is your sign guys <laughs> i'm giving you a sign okay i'm giving you a sign right now that whatever your intuition were telling you was telling you to do uh it was right it was not a coincidence it was not just a thought okay your ego wanted you to feel this way but you know the answers and trust that and this is just your sign to tell you that <laughs> that you were right i also have a card for you protect your dreams okay you are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them okay so i feel like this could be talking about the situation or this person that might be slowing you down because of the drama because of this the need that they have you know they are so re not relatable but reliable on you and it's time that you guys just focus on you and your dreams and you have to protect these dreams as well keep on um believing that something is um 
that this dream is about to come true basically because it's possible it might be related with this card over here your light is shining bright you're reaching your destination i also have a card for you guys light the fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation okay i love that and to remind you that light can penetrate darkness okay so stay positive stay positive and one more card divination embrace your powers of a divination which are especially strong right now Ooh, so this is just telling you to really you know use the love attraction use any do any kind of rituals that you guys like to do or if you've never done a ritual maybe it's time to research it you know what she, what is she doing let me check she's reading tara she has crystals around her and candles she's doing candle magic sitting in front of the fire in the nature so this is just you know reminding you to really take it seriously if it comes to maybe scripting or any kind of ritual that you do in order to maybe manifest your desires or release some sort of negative energy that is no longer serving you you have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity. Oh my God, that's what I was saying, that you guys are seeing clearly. And if you're going to do this um, ritual, any kind of ritual that you want, you know, a spiritual, a spiritual ritual, <laughs> I feel like it's going to bring you even more clarity into the situation, into your life and really make you see what are the things that are that are worth your attention or what are the things that you should be focusing at at the moment all right i love this message for you guys if you got until the end of this reading and you claim this beautiful energy just leave a comment down below and say i am now seeing clearly leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet it really helps out my channel a lot you can also book a private reading with me if you would like to so we can focus on your specific energy or you can check out my etsy store where i have mystery crystal boxes thank you guys so much for watching once again and i'll see you next time take care bye okay okay group number four with a small open to be cute <laughs> let's see what we have for you ay 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 group number four what's going on with you huh all right so guys what i'm seeing is that you've been feeling a little bit unlucky lately right you've been feeling like things are really not working out for you like what's going on what's going on is this a mercury retrograde period i mean maybe if you guys are watching in the future maybe it is actually mercury retrograde but it feels like things were really not going your way and you've been feeling like giving up on something seven of wands over here in reverse and guys you can't <laughs> you can't give up okay um i have a card the death in reverse that is talking about transition whenever this card is in reverse to me it represents the fact that you guys are really uncomfortable with the the things the changes that are about to happen or you are al not allowing this transformation to like this transitioning energy or like this change let's say let's just say change you're not allowing this to come through um you don't want to go through a change it makes you uncomfortable you would rather just stay where you are or it might be just representing the fact that it's not easy maybe that's why we have the wheel of fortune reverse you're feeling like it's just not going according to a plan why is everything just happening like this to me why 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 etc i have a page of pentacles in reverse so this tells me that there is um some idea or potential like idea potential or project or even a career related uh, situation that is an opportunity for you however you feel like you are not ready for it you feel like you don't know enough you're not good enough you're not skillful enough you don't have enough money you don't have blah 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 blah. you know it's like i don't have enough um i'm not ready for it yet so it tells me that you're a perfectionist and it also tells me that you're waiting for like the correct 
for the right moment for to kind of like go forward with this project with this idea and the universe says that you have to do it <laughs> it is a good idea it's going to bring you this financial abundance or some sort of stability in your life um definitely um i'm just seeing that you guys have to stop being such a perfectionist or finding excuses to why you're not supposed to do that um i do see that as i said that you're feeling very unlucky lately however you gotta know that the wheel of fortune is a very temporary energy so even though the wheel of fortune is reversed at the moment soon it actually can be upright okay and soon you might be feeling or the luck is gonna be on your side again that's what i'm saying so um that's the message here for you from the universe so far that you have to go through this transition first of all because it's going to be for the greatest good of you you know it's going to be the best for you it's going to bring you more opportunities and don't feel like the time is not right because i do think that now is the time to be honest <laughs> look at that choosing your path I love that with a page of pentacles all is possible guys everything is possible yes you can yes you are good enough yes you know enough you're ready okay it's just up to you obviously sometimes you know when we start something new even like a business a new business it might not be going so well at the beginning but you know what the energy is building momentum and if you keep on going it will eventually take off and everything is possible and you are the person that is choosing that can choose their own path uh which way you want to go what do you want to do in life oh my god i'm really feeling like this is like a big decision for you guys it's something that you will be going back to a couple of uh, years from now you will be looking back and feeling like oh my god i'm so glad that i took this risk that i made a decision uh going that way going forward or like you know choosing that path because i'm just happy that it all it all worked out for me i'm really feeling this way and even though you guys are going through uncomfortable time at the moment i do think that it's going to bring you a lot of success in the future. Uh, the rest of the cards are pretty much all about releasing something. But before we talk about that, I also have a card of synchronicities for you. So you might be seeing a lot of synchronicities. And this is your angels just telling you that you're on the right path. Or, you know, they're kind of like giving you hints on what to do. So really look into that if you're seeing a lot of repetitive numbers on the clock constantly really reflect on what it is what what is it that it actually means for you because obviously all of the numbers they have their own meanings but i always encourage everyone to find the meaning for themselves you know um like let's say 111 is a number that everyone says that is talking about like being in alignment uh, maybe your wish is coming true etc you know being on the right path maybe it could mean something else to you so um just look out for the synchronicities guys um because they're leading you i also have a card of spiritual career i feel like it's probably not for a lot of you okay but for many of you and you guys might be seeing a lot of eight and sevens also that's what i'm feeling or you might be a life path eight or seven spiritual career so if you've been considering some sort of like starting some sort of spiritual career i do think that you should do it um but i want to move on from it because i don't think this is a card for everyone we also have a card of healing it could be connected with spiritual career healing okay being a healer <laughs> but other than that you guys are healing at the moment and you have to allow yourself to heal and even though you know even though those things are not going so well and i get it because lately i feel the same <laughs> lately i feel the same where things are just not really working out for me uh, the way i wish it would i accept that that's how it is and 
all you got to do is accept your situation and try to learn from it and try not to be mean to yourself about what's, whatever is happening because who knows, maybe a couple of months or years from now you will look back and think that you really needed this even though it's probably, you know, awful to say that right now because <laughs> I totally get it, as I said. Um, like, no one wants to go through difficult time, but sometimes it's needed, you know, in order to grow as a person. I also have a card for you, cleansing waters, purification activates fiber and life forces, force. So, yeah, guys, you gotta go through some cleansing, you gotta do cleansing, maybe just use a balsander, use sage, maybe take a, um, bath, uh, with, uh, some salts, Himalayan, Himalayan, Himalayan salts, or some different extra divination tools, you know, in order to cleanse yourself, um, etc. You can look more into it, but I'm definitely seeing that because we also have what do you need to release? And it's time to release negativity. So it's time to release negative mindset, negative attitude, but also negative people around you. The things that are, the, the activities that you might be doing that are bringing your energy down. And even though, you know, it's not going with the wheel of fortune, the, the life is uh, kicking your butt, it doesn't mean that you should be adding to it, let's say, you know, with the negative attitude or actions, etc. Behaviors, activities. So there's something that you guys gotta release. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Gosh, another card of healing. Look at that. Now is the time for you to give and receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others, even you. Once again, if you guys have been thinking about Reiki or healing others somehow, this is your sign. But also, once again, maybe you guys actually need a guide, a mentor, you know? Someone that could guide you, someone that could help you, heal you, etc. Love that for you. All right. Okay, two more cards. So we have a card of solitude. Spending some time on your own, really reflecting. Think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet, quiet times. Hmm. I feel like it also is talking about like the energy that I was saying that I, I feel like you guys should go for it, whatever it is for you. And even though it's uncomfortable or it might be quiet for now, I feel like it will bring you a lot of rewards and abundance, but also it's a reminder for you to stay on your own, to really give yourself time um, to spend on your own, to reflect on life, to, to spend some time in solitude, you know? Okay, reconnect with nature. One more card. Flourish, the lotus flower fairy tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others. You guys, as I said, you are going to learn from this. You're supposed to learn from this experience. It's not like it's happening to you for no reason. It's happening for you. So you can reflect back on it. So you can make this decision. Maybe it's pushing you towards making that decision. You know, maybe everything that is happening right now, that is just not going the way it's supposed to go. That's what you think. Maybe it's happening because it had to put you back on the right track, on the right path. Okay, love that. And if you guys are claiming this message and you got until the end of the reading, I want you to write in the comment section, all is possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this reading and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can book a private reading with me if you would like that or check my Etsy store where I sell crystal, crystal mystery boxes. Everything is in the description box. I love the links and you know everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.